Hello again. So I already made a video on how to import faces, but I'm going to redo it. Things have changed. Nothing major, but there have been updates to text tools, so the layout of the importer does look different. It would be a good idea that I just redo this video slightly. If you've watched the previous video, you'll have a leg up. You'll know how this all works. If you haven't watched the previous video, no worries. Again, you do not need to be a Blender expert for any of this. All the information I'm about to give you should work if you've never even stepped foot in Blender in your entire life. So um, first things first, very important, use Blender 4.0 or earlier. 4.0 um, avoids some pretty serious bugs in the newer versions. The newer version in particular really messes up models when you import them. So I would very strongly recommend you stick to version 4.0 or 4.02 or whichever. Just don't go to 4.1 or 4.2 if that exists. Stick to 4.0. Next, you'll also need to have access to text tools or have access to various other programs. So text tools would be the best. So that you can access the face models, do the importing, and follow along. Okay. So text tools right now is on version 3.083. They'll probably update it at some point again. They update it every few minutes, so don't worry about that. But I'm going to show you how to extract a face model, how to put the teeth in, but more importantly, one thing I didn't touch on, I'm going to show you how to keep a mouth pocket, which prevents the sides of the mouth from being transparent so you can see right through the head. Okay. So the face we're going to do it on today, if you've never used text tools, when it's open, you go to character, face. Let's go ahead and do it for Lollafell. We'll do it for Lollafell female, face one. Okay, so here's your face model. You can see it very clearly. You can go ahead and just save this, save it wherever you'd like. It automatically defaults to its own folder. You can see here, Lollafell female, face one. I apparently already exported it at some point, but that's fine. After you've done that, you can click the folder down here. This will open up a directory. This is where all the face and all of its textures got exported. The only thing you need is the address bar. So just right click up here and say copy address. And now we can open up the Blender file. If you haven't gotten the Blender file, it's available on the links below in the description. Um, it's on my website as well on XMA. Uh, the, inside the package will be the mod pack for the teeth and the Blender file containing all the faces. Now, inside the Blender file are the various teeth for male and female. They are generally sized for all of the races. They should fit just about every single one of the faces. Some minor tweaks might be needed here and there, but as a general rule, you can use this pretty safely without having to do much. Once you've opened up the Blender file, this is what you'll see. To start off, we'll just go over here, right click, New Collection, you can title it if you want, it's not important, but select it and then come up to File up here, Import FBX. We copied that address from before, so you can just paste it there and press Enter. There's our face FBX. Select it and press Import. Now, oh, it's down here. <laughs> you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. If you hold Shift and press the middle mouse button, you can move around or you can just use the regular mouse, middle mouse button without shift and you can spin the camera. That's how we move around. So you get this. Now you'll notice it looks very different than what it looks like inside of the text tools and that's like, for example, the greens and the nose. That's totally normal, your model isn't broken. There's ways to fix it, but that's not important for this video. What you would do with this model is we need to extract the teeth that exist. There is a tongue and mouth that exists on these models. We need to get rid of it replace it with our own, and then re-bring this back into text tools so we can use it. So, select on the head so it's highlighted like such. You can press tab or go up here to edit mode. Click away so that nothing's highlighted. And then go up here to face mode. Fa okay, face select. Now if you see all these dots, it means you have uh, x-ray mode turned on. It can be turned off up here using this icon, or you can tap Alt-Z to toggle it on and off. We want it off for now. Now all you need to do is hover over one of these faces, press L, over here, L, and then press H to hide them. When you zoom in, you can see here's the teeth. Now 
we don't want to keep all of it, but we do want to keep a part of this. Let's go ahead and also make it so the bones are hidden. So go over here to this circle, click overlays, check off bones. Just makes it a little easier to see. The parts we want to keep, we want this, this, and these two little flaps. That is going to be what we use to make our mouth pocket. Every face has a very specific one size for that face that joins the lips perfectly. So it's important that when you're grabbing your face, you keep the uh, mouth pocket here that matches to it. That way it'll seam up perfectly. You don't have to do any extra weighting. It'll work just fine. You can right click, go to separate by selection. So now you see it's not in, uh, but you don't see the lines anymore. That means it's its own piece. And then turn on x-ray mode. You can just select all the teeth here and then you can press delete vertices and voila. Now when you go back to object mode the face will appear again. You can click it and press H. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why that wasn't working. Um, now this mouth pocket it's almost perfect. There's a little bit of extra editing we're gonna do. All you need to do is select it, go into edit mode, go up here and switch to what this would be called edge select. You can press two as well to get to this mode. Click this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge, the back edges. What you do now is you press E, Y, and then just drag it back. And then you right click and say bridge edge loops. Last thing you do is you press Control R while mousing over. You should see this line appear and scroll up once so it becomes two lines. Right click and they'll stay in place. And now you can press G and Y and bring them back. This just kind of creates a little circle so that there's a back of the mouth, which largely won't be necessary, and there's sides of the mouth, which are very necessary. Last step, press A. Control T to triangulate it. It'll make it look like so. And then switch back to what this is called vertex select mode. You can also just press one. You want to select this vertices and these one, just so I can give you a top view, those ones. Press S and then just drag them in. This just kind of closes off the roof of the mouth ever so slightly. That's all we need to do. You press tab get back into object mode. And now we can expand this face here, expand this root, this is the skeleton. You see there's this extra bit here called 002. That's the part we split off, that's this. We can unhide our face. And what we can do is we can click so that this is highlighted in a bright yellow. Hold control and click the part 0.0, .0 so now it's highlighted in bright yellow. And now we can right click here and press join. They're back together. If I zoom into the face, you can see. And more importantly, the seam for where the lip touches is perfectly flush. We didn't edit the model really where it's important. And if we were to go ahead and unhide our bones, again, we just did that with this menu here. You can click on them. You can go to pose mode. And if x-ray is on, click the bone. I forget what it's called. I think it's this one, F. Ago, and pressing R and then rotating it down, we open the mouth, and you can see the pocket is in there. It's all closed off on the inside of the mouth. Obviously, you can see through the top, but we're going to be putting teeth, so you won't see that. Just press undo a couple times, control Z, or you can just go to edit undo. We'll exit post mode back to object mode, and now we're going to put the teeth in. So, again, we're using Lollafell, so let's expand Lollafell. Now for them, they have the same face, right? Their face isn't that different, so you can just use that. Now, let's go ahead and hide this collection for a moment. The teeth themselves look like such. They have gums, they've got the top and bottom teeth, as well as a split tongue and a normal tongue. We don't want the, norm the split tongue, so we're just gonna hide that using this eyeball. So we have gums, teeth, and tongue. You can edit the teeth if you select either the top or bottom teeth. Click on here for data uh, properties. 
and you can choose if the front teeth are more feral like that makes them a bit more like canine teeth or if you want them to be more razor sharp just kind of sharpens the edges of the teeth and you can also mix and match them slightly although they might warp so just be careful as you play with this in our case let's make the front razor the canines uh, fangs and we'll make the molars sharp we'll do the same thing on the bottom teeth although I think I accidentally forgot them on so we'll just leave them like that now in order to lock these shapes in what you need to do is select the teeth click this box here and say apply shape keys if you don't do that it will not preserve the shape of the teeth you can do that for both apply shape keys now the teeth are stuck like this this is how they look we can unhide our face and all we got to do now is attach it to the face we'll go ahead and start with the gums click the gear icon and modifiers there's this armature modifier you can just click this dropper and hover over the skeleton until it says object and root and it'll add it in and we'll just do that for each of the pieces like so now if we open the mouth again like we did you can see the teeth are now in there they block the, ro the roof you can't really see through it there's the side of the mouth and we're all good so there's no disparity everything's working good we'll undo that so we can have the mouth closed again now lastly if you look at the names of each of these parts we have part 0 0 0.1 1.0 1.1 .1, etc etc I vaguely named the teeth part 4.0 that's not what they have to be they'll have to be one number higher than whatever is here so 5.0 is the highest number of these parts that means these teeth are going to have to be 6.0 and 6.1 we can skip 4.2 that's the split tongue we're not using it we'll go down here and retitle this 6.3 and 6.4 the reason we have to do that is each of these parts have their own textures these textures assign what will apply to that part if we share a 4.0 with the 4.0 here those will share a texture the teeth won't look correct that's not what we want once you've done all that and we have our mesh here we have our new teeth we have our mouth pocket press a oh we got to get out of pose mode my bad make sure you're in object mode press a to select everything go to file export fbx We'll go ahead and put it back in the folder where we found it. If you had that early, you can just paste it again. We'll call this New Don TV's Lala Edition Deluxe. The options you'll need to have turned on is under include selected objects. So we only include the things that we have selected. Scroll down, turn off bake animation, and under geometry, turn on triangulate faces. It may not be necessary most of the time, but it's a good practice. It'll fix a lot of your problems and export the model. Now back over in text tools. I don't believe I did, perfect. So there's th two face textures here, face A and face B. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go and import. I'm gonna have to <laughs> hop over to it real quickly. Just bear with me. Uh, that would be public. Uh, chest teeths. You have to import the chest teeth textures. What this is, is this is all the textures for every race, and there's pink and dark gums, so you can use those. Once you've imported that, you saw earlier we had a face A and a face B. We now also have a face C. And this face C are the teeth textures. All three. This will let them look how they're supposed to look in game. For some races, it will be texture B. The basic rule is that it's the last face texture, whatever it might be. Some faces have more than one. When we go back to, you can go ahead and click this eyeball to look back at our Lollafell face. On the bottom, click load. It should default here, and there we have it, new Don Tifis. We'll open that up. And now this is what's new. They changed the editor. 
you're going to click Open Editor. Give it a moment to go ahead and load everything. What you need to do is these mesh numbers here, mesh 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they correspond to the part numbers we have here in Blender. So our teeth were part 6. They need to be on face C. We have our gums. Obviously, we're skipping the tongue. We have our normal tongue, teeth, teeth. Press confirm. Press close. And if I was to zoom in way into the face, you can see the teeth are under there, fangs and all. Go ahead and press Save to FF14. If you're using text tools, you can go ahead and that's it, you're done. Otherwise, you can go ahead and create a mod pack. I would suggest doing an advanced mod pack. Um, and one other thing I'll show you, this is more important for races such as Aura uh, and Viera and races that have two texture sets. We'll go ahead and just call this temp test. In the advanced mod pack, click add, standard group. You click edit. You can title the group whatever you want. In this case, we'll say Lala, Lala head. And the option will be Lala face one. Now down here, we would search for the face. So we go again to character, face, scroll down to Lala fell female, one. You don't really need everything, but it's fine if you add everything. But in truth, all you really need is the model. You can turn off child files and the material, in this case, material C. So that's the model, the material, and the three chest teeth textures. That's enough to make this work. Now, if you were doing something special, if you were doing um, a race such as Zela or Rava or one of the alternative races, you'd have to be very careful because you aren't including the right textures. They are not face one. They are face 101. Some of those ones, you have to make sure you include the face C for that race. That way, the teeth will show. If you ever run into an issue where the teeth don't show, that's why. So just go down to the alternative teeth and include those two. For the most part, the only thing you're really including is the material, if you already have the textures. Good practice to do it, just so you don't run into issues. And in case you're curious, this texture being exclusive from the other ones, even if it's included, it won't affect a normal face because the normal face doesn't use the texture. Press done, press finish, and save it wherever you want. You can see I've got a lot of stuff. And you're done. You can import that into text tools, you can import that into Penumbra, and your face should start to load. I hope that covers everything. I hope, <laughs> I hope we really do solve all the issues for you. If you have problems, of course, you can reach out to me in my Discord. I'm more than happy to help. And outside that, enjoy Dawn Trail, enjoy your new face, enjoy your new teeth.